to introduce to you Mr. Sateep Biswas, Director, TMT Practice, Deloitte Consulting, Telecom Media Technology Practice India. Sir's career journey in technology domain had started from hardware R&D, moved to customer support, writing Unix device drivers, finally to data communications. During this period, he worked with great organizations like HCL, DCM, Wipro. His competency in business arena got him moved out of technology to business. He had worked excellent time working in markets like ERP and consulting services and worked with global giants like Siemens, Cambridge Technology Partners. With Reliance Communications, since its inception, Sir handled many challenging roles as Executive Assistant to Chairman, Head HR and many more. Currently, he is leading Managed Services, PMO and Service Delivery. Sir has been instrumental in the formation of Alcatel Lucent Managed Solutions, Allen's US dollars 500 million company, a joint venture between Reliance and Alcatel Lucent France. He is also the founder board member of Allen's. His innovative telescopic managed services pricing model driven through complexity multiplier fetched him the prestigious Best Business Innovation Award presently presented by Global Telecom Business. Characterized as visionary, strategist, and tacticians with consistent record of delivering extraordinary results in growth, operational performance, and profitability. It's less known that he is author of Unix Handbook, a columnist in leading telecom magazines, a guest lecturer in various management and technology institutes. So was a state level volleyball player and martial arts teacher. So kindly enlighten us with your words of wisdom. Thank you. Uh, 
my mom used to make uh, anybody wrong here will understand uh, in, in, in Malayalam we call it Payasam, we call it Spayash in Bengali so I have lost many uh, sisters and because we fight the volume and quantity of that so we will all have a designated you know goal and having that made so when you come back from the school and that is primarily uh, you know, all happened if you have a birthday and that's related to that. We did not have cake cutting ceremonies those days. Uh, both culturally and affordability was the issue. So, that's it. That's the life I came from. You know, the life I come from, I was mentioning to somebody that if you, when you go to the restaurant, if you open the menu card, uh, some of you, you born and brought up, you need to decide looking at the left hand side of the menu card. Correct? I came from the life, I looked the right hand side of the main part. I can't stop it anymore. I, I always identify what is my affordability today. Correct? It's coming back. So when you have, sir, I was mentioning to you, so if you have that, so I mean for us it's a great achievement, like one full bowl of stuff, sweet dish. So we start taking spoon after spoon, right? So every spoon I take, or first, second, or third spoon or something, initial spoons, it defines that how many spoons you have consumed and you feel this huge amount of steel is there, this infinite is left. And when it is about to finish, you actually you forget how much you have consumed, right? You only keep counting how much is left. So uh, I, I wish I can sit there and for you, you will only have, you only had few spoons there out of your life, right? And, and lots of things left. It's your job, it's your decision how you want to consume it. You want to have fun with it or you throw it over the place, right? So all the best guys, I mean, uh, I think it's the best place to be there today. And complete, uh, complete exposure to these kind of inputs that you can make. Uh, welcome once again. Uh, today, okay, he thought I'm really old. Right? <laughs> it's all fine. I kept a couple of me. So, any of you, you man, which side? No, which side is the handle? Some of you may be knowing, so there's, there's no trick. Which side the handle? No, only she, right? I know you. And with all of you are smart guys. So. What's that? Right. Who's? My side. Which side we got? Which side? In center? Which side? You want to try? Yeah. You, you, you. Which side? Center? Which side? Yeah, somebody is known. So this is very interesting. This is outside, right? So it's it, the answer will remain valid. What's happening is our life is very interesting, you know? Like you will find that whether, uh, I think somebody said uh, that you're going to hit the corporate. Why corporate? Why to hit the corporate? Why not you go and start your own business, right? Maybe small, maybe large, but why not that? Yeah. Why corporate alone, right? It's, it's, not necessarily that's a great life is all about. Uh, you remember the story, somebody saying, some rickshaw puller was relaxing, somebody said, why don't you come with me? He said, no, I'm relaxing now. You know that story, right? So, so keep, he said, why well, you are lazy? You don't have to come and earn money and, and then you make your life beautiful. I said, then what do I do then? He said, no, relax. I said, that's exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> so that's, he says the people from calculus like that. Okay. What do we expect today from this meeting, from this discussion? Let's not call it a speech. Speech is very, uh, you know, monologue kind. We have some mic, right? There. So, what do you expect? Speech. Sorry? You want to share your experience, sir? I think that's much better. Yeah. Share my experience. Yeah. I'll share professional experience now and personal experience I can share outside. <laughs> this is the 
advantage of learning how to make PPTs and try to do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Very interesting slides, I think uh, we made it some time back and I thought that I'll share here. The industry is changing, right? Uh, I mean, basically you guys are more focused on telecom here. So we'll discuss telecom, I smell telecom all the time, so that's fine with me. But by and large, industry is really changing, drifting. Uh, uh, so if you remember that we have seen that industry very different than uh, post I think, 80s kind and beyond 80s. Today, um, if you take globally five large industries, they, uh, the organizations, they actually did not even exist if you go back a few years, right? Even 15, 20 years, they didn't really exist. We did not know the name of the Google maybe 15, 20 years back, right? They did not really exist. So that's, that's a kind of change in paradigm shift is happening today. So what's happening is we always been pushing, saying that size of the organization, how much asset you have, what is the industry, how big is the factory, and all that is the decided parameters. Today, that's not the case, right? Today, the case is that what is your intellectual capital? you have today. So, uh, uh, if you go and ask the Google that what is your asset, they get lost, say that what asset do you have? Nothing, right? All assets are all, all virtual assets, right? So like typical consulting company, uh, so company like us, I and mean, we actually, uh, we, uh, I don't know, it's very difficult to find who is a consultant. I believe that I'm not a consultant to this man. I believe that you, you utilize your your knowledge and help somebody else to do the business better. That's consulting. Consulting is just not good looking PPTs and, and lovely documents which will be left behind somewhere and nobody will be utilizing it. I, I work with a great guy and I keep mentioning his name all the time. So he says, so there should be telescopic strategy and microscopic execution. Right? So you should have high level strategy and, and your deployment should be very critical. So strategy, sorry, the cons consulting should not just giving them and telling them how to deploy this. The consulting is much more than that. Consulting is just define the basic parameters of the framework and help them to how to really define these uh, parameters better and deploy and get going. And, uh, uh, there, are, there are two software we heard from some of you must know it, called the Tally software, which is a basic accounting package which is easily available with money, without money, when kind of you're scenario. Hi, good morning. I think these chairs are too comfortable. No, I, I can keep watching as you don't mind. So, the second part is with a software called SAP, uh, which, is, which is a large ERP software. So somebody says, is is a is a properly deployed SAP sorry uh, a uh, properly deployed tally is much better than a goofed up deployment of SAP R3, right? So if that if you don't do that job properly, you, can, you cannot actually make any sense out of it. So this is what you're saying is that typically the knowledge, uh, the speed, the, the technology, the, the speed of Executions are becoming the key instead of how big is the asset. That is true for um, a geography classes. You remember, we used to say that which country is superior? The country has got a lot of minerals, a lot of agriculture, and so on. And in that standard today, the Singapore does not even feature, right? It does not have one gram of minerals, it does not do much of agriculture, and all that. Size is so small, but there, I think, uh, oh, you can tell me you know that which country. Singapore or other large countries, right? So things are really changing. Before we move to to our HR specific discussion, I just want to share this. Uh, Balasar was mentioning to you even even offline. Take a deep breath and look at this slide. This is very interesting. Uh, any business generally goes through this. Take take e-business. I don't know those who are aware that early 2000s or late 90s there's a business called e-business, right? Which which goes through 
as soon as some new things comes in, it is true for uh, some of you must have seen telecom or, or medical transcription business or any, any business line you take. As soon as the business comes in, so there will be a trigger, there is a new business will be coming in and everybody will start really putting their focus into it, right? The people will invest time, they will learn, you must have seen those days, right? Almost all your friends will be knowing, will be learning the typical software and so on. It happened for, for many, many, many business lines. And then, uh, you start expecting too much out of it, right, for the industry line. So it, that goes up there. So that's, that's going to peak up in the situation. And then you realize, uh, is this what we are talking about? Is it that great? Then you realize, that, look, it's not going to add any value. So what you do in that case, is when you start retracing, retracing, you understand, right? They stopped contributing into that. They start coming back. Once that happens, then it, it falls, right? Dissolution. And then, uh, some, of the, some of you must have seen that era of mm, e-business just not selling flower bouquets on the net, right? It's much more. Than that. <coughs> then you come back, then you go back slowly towards that, right? And, and suddenly you realize that it is not that great, which is the inferior expectation. It is not that, that bad either, right? So then you have a standard productivity. You got it? Today, how many of you and me, we actually go to the, uh, we, don't, we go to the airport and buy air ticket? Almost not, right? And so on. So that's the business today. Interesting. You take any business for that matter. It goes through like that. Way. So this is the two, to zone, you actually make money. I'm talking the industry that you relate that uh, the rest of things. This is the time you make money, right? You, when this is worth it, the time duration can be any that great. It can be yearly greed, it can be, you know, you know 10 years greed or something. Interesting. And you keep making money the next circle. What happened is, I, I try to relate. Those large organizations, uh, they, they keep moving. This is like, Unavoidable. So what you do is you keep moving from one wave to second wave to third wave and so on. So constantly you are making money. If you go back to sorry, when when that first circle and second circle is coming in, in between these two is that your ability to sustain, right? The business should sustain, otherwise it will collapse. You must have seen some of the large uh, e-businesses easiest way to really relay. They could sustain that period, right? Otherwise, it can't sustain. So what will happen is, like, Reliance is the easiest example for me to relate. So they keep moving to one wave, to second wave, to third wave, to fourth wave, right? And anybody from electronics or electrical background there, engineering, few hands? Don't worry, I'm not asking anything. Yeah. yeah. You know, there is something called harmonics. You know that? Right? So you've got a wave, wave, multiply by <laughs> uh, multiply by something and or whatever, you know what it's uh, harmonics. So you can have harmonics there, they can make money. That if this wave is telecom wave, uh, that next can, that uh, small harmonics can be SMS wave or something like that, right? Or, I mean, I'm talking about the same family, different, you know, going into the growth of that particular product line or whatever the technology line or it can be completely different business altogether. So in many such companies like Tata's and Freelance of the world, they are very good at it. They come they change their uh, their entire dynamics of the doing business very differently. And therefore we call it the strike in the right hand. Okay? Today uh, if you let's say uh, you have lots of money and you wanted to start uh, your, your business or the manufacturing business of electronics company. Okay, to be very precise, you, you have opportunity to buy uh, a factory setup which, which produces uh, the LCD TV and another factory produces LED TV. Which, uh, which uh, factory will buy? Let's you have a lot of money to do Why? So, you are you actually LED TV into this wave now, correct? And LCD TV in the next wave, right? But there is, if you take the real value proposition, 
like 2G phones. Uh, uh, you know that, that a small conventional phone, I still have one. <coughs> you may buy a, a smartphone. Smartphone buying is a smart decision, right? Not the requirement. 67% of the Blackberry in this country being used only for SMS, BBM, and the voice, not for email. Very fun. I guess a reality today. And Blackberries and uh, Galaxy, or oh, sorry, whatever, Samsung and iPhones are all status symbols. You know what I so? Otherwise, it doesn't look cool, right? Good for them, right? Right? Good for the laptops also, right? Most of them, we do exactly the same computing what we've been doing it 10 years back. So, Microsoft and Intel, they decide what we should buy and we should use, right? Don't you think that's fun? What happened is, uh, today, somebody called Bill Gates, he decides to change the operating system and you and me will struggle to, round, uh, to learn that. Do you really need it? Today, uh, uh, let's say there's a light bulb. You must have seen the bulb, right? Uh, 25, 30 years back, you were an old bulb and it's still there, it's working. If you put it today, do you think it will blow? It should, right? And we exactly know the technology, everything is in constant. The power generation system in the back end has been changed completely. Right? It's changed to coal, to diesel, to, to whatever. That law of nuclear powers and so on. But 230 volt, remember 230 volt, right? Do you think so? Those uh, new generation cars, if you see that, uh, they have uh, the inter uh, steering assembly is changed completely. It's completely electromechanical devices, right? But does it mean that you have a joystick instead of a steering? Actually, it should work, right? But you still have a steering. You know why? To give that look and feel, right? You can relate. Otherwise, if you give a joystick, you'll bang your car everywhere all the time. You know It's very scary, right? To think about driving a car with a joystick. Okay. Uh, this slide I was talking to Balas, uh, you know, when, uh, when I was in. Uh, talking to him in the back door is this is business today and the business wizards like they visualize 10 years, 15 years, 30 years, they know exactly where we are going to go, right? Where we are going to land. Today, uh, I, I, I was present when uh, Infocom was being formed, which is communications today. So Dhruvai Ammani has got a two, two thought process and I was lucky that we be present in front of him and actually goes into uh, Gujarati mixed Hindi to English, maybe, is, is called two things. One, he said, how long will we keep using Infocom? Interesting. How long will we keep consuming it, right? So we should really leapfrog in the center stage of global Infocom space. Amazing wisdom, right? Look at that strength of the dwarfs. Right? We should really jump into the center stage of the global Infocom space. That is that's precisely what they did. Whether it's good or bad, uh, and the second point is, he says that we'll change the way, uh, we'll change the telecom economy altogether. <coughs> Today, most of us sitting here uh, do not care and bother to make a call to somebody, right? The cost is insignificant to us. Do you think so? How yes, is insignificant, including uh, social security calls and so on? Most of us, including the carpenter who works at my place, he does not care to make his call to his parents in, in UP or somewhere. He just does not, he does not care. Right? You know why? That's the changes that happen in our country. Amazing, right? We can always compare ourselves with so-called uh, Europe and US and feel bad about it and, and feel dookie about comparing ourselves with China. But we have done great things in right, the last 10 years. Today, that, that, that device you carry, the device actually can give you internet access sitting there. So please don't do it now. Do it right? I don't think so. And that's exactly the same thing happening today in US. Right? You are no way technological, technological way. I remember uh, 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 my dad used to ask me why people will buy uh, DVD player from US or somewhere and come to India. Do you remember those days? They said, if you are going to outside India, the first thing you buy, you buy some electronic address and come back home. That's no big deal nowadays, right? Exactly the same technology, same device, similar price, format, better price, format, available in India. So most of us, if you do that, you feel uh, anything. <laughs> right? So 
Uh, I should tell you this, that we use FaceTime here. Well, uh, let's not call it as a product wave. Let's call it a technological wave. Right? The wave takes time. Three-phase rectifier, you know Yes. Sure? Yes. I asked you. Okay. So, you remember this? Sine waves are going to? Yes. And the phase different? So, let's say that I wish I can draw some. So, the first sine wave is, is the technology being adopted at this moment and less. Or somewhere, developed countries. Uh, we are developing countries. I think before I die, I must say that I am a clear developed country. We love to say we are developing countries. That's fine. So now next phase comes in from phase lab, let's say 90 degree. It starts from here. That's Indian wave, right? Adopted, Indian adopted wave. What is happening is this wave is becoming faster and faster. The frequencies are increasing. Because technology changes are happening. I'll move to that. Very interesting. And then slowly relate how the people should change as for the HR and this concern. This wave was moving, it's becoming faster. The wave uh, telecom technology used to change, automobile technology used to change past 10 years, let's say. 1950 to 1960, the change of telecom or change of uh, uh, change of telecom or change of automobile industry is much slower than comparing today. The handsets you carry today did not even exist five years back. So they did the facility of the handsets. They are all sleeping there. I think this auditorium is so so beautiful. <coughs> Lovely chairs and so on. Okay, coming back. So today what is happening is these both the both the frequencies are really matching together, right? So uh, if uh, iPhone 4S is getting launched in US. It's just a business decision to launch it after a few days here or something like that. But technologically, we are exactly there. Whether it's a 2G to 4, 3G, and whatever, 2.5G, 3G, what is the next one? 4G, what is the next one? 3G. No, hardly. Sorry. I don't know what all it will be coming in. Do you really need it? Tell me how many of you are using 3G phones? 3G phones. Now be careful, how many of you are using actually 3G services into that, 3G same? If you get 50% of those hands are genuine, correct? So, you still have significant. Tell me, this 3G same you have, other than paying us, not us anymore, sorry. Paying telcos a little more money. What else you do with that 3G answer? Which you could not do with earlier phone? <laughs> I don't give you one, so be careful whatever you're saying. What? Video streaming. Video streaming? Do you do it? Yes. With whom? Skype. Skype you do? On your phone? Regularly? Not regularly. Uh, as an experiment. You do that as an experiment. You tell me that every day or something you do, which you just cannot do now. You know, one of the most popular applications was, was talked about initially when 3G phone was launched? Video conferencing, right? Video call, video chat, whatever it is. Touch uh, your heart and tell me how many actually you do the video conferencing. It's in real life, other than experiment. For the front row, there is no hand there. You know what? Can you guess what? Okay. If you don't kill me, and primarily those married ladies, uh, you know, if you take the call, I mean those in corporate, not in college, right? Most of the times you make calls, 80-90% uh, calls uh, we do, we make to our, uh, to our bosses and our wives, right? Is that okay? And either case we don't see their face. So, <laughs> therefore, video calls are not popular. That's not the reality. The reality is, you know somebody so well. Sorry, don't mind. So, uh, you actually need to talk, just communicate some of the information. You actually don't want to really see that face and unconscious. 
and any part you do that, you can always go back to the, the professional video conferencing session. So that's a 3D. That's a, that's a, that's changing of the of the technologies coming in. What we need to do is today the bigger challenge for us is is catching up the technology. Uh, all of you sitting there must have learned that a lot of technology did in the college before this, right? In, in your engineering, I'm talking about uh, UG. Okay, so. Most of things you will not even encounter when you go to go the industry. It is unfortunate, but does it mean this is a natural process? It's an unavoidable process. You need your basics, right? If basics are clear, you can always adopt anything that comes in the way. Is this slide was cool? This is fun. My son. Did it? With something, we did it for paper cups also, right? Yes. And that is to work. I, I have tried even using uh, half coconut shell that works best. Why it works best? Better than this team box or coconut shell is best. Can you guess? Micro event in your sense? Is a parabolic. Right? So if you talk here, the entire thing gets centered in this space. Anyway, uh, just have fun. Technology is changing. You know all of these, right? Uh, so, uh, when you buy a handset, so you really don't care what is the voice quality, how clear it is. You check up whether it has got a data facility or not, whether it was 3G or 4G. Uh, uh, interestingly, I don't have any older phone than this, so uh, something I have seen, right? You know, like typical initial set of handsets, yeah? yes, yes. Edison's and so on. I've got a very small display. Did you see that? And a large key patch. It's called a key patch, pneumatic key patch. You remember? Yes. Right? And this is like mid size, mid generation, right? You have a 50% display, 50% key patch. You can see the new generation phones, most of them they don't have even right? Most of them. Yes, why? See, earlier days, the display, we are still relating our conventional phone. How, how many of you actually remember the phone numbers, excepting one or two? You remember used to remember five, six, seven, eight phone numbers. Yes, our, and we just pick up the phone and dial. Okay? You might have not seen those governor driven dialing, but you must have seen push button dialing. And sometimes even in the darkness also you can find that and dial it, right? I'm sure you must have done that, uh, must be doing that late night calling to my parents or sleeping, right? <laughs> no? I did many. So anyway, sorry. Uh, coming back here, the dialing is becoming less and less important, right? It's interesting that this group driven. Today this phone is lost. For me, the, not the electronics which is lost, which is content which is lost. Don't you think so? Yes. If I take out your laptop, you'll be completely visible, at least me. It's not the hardware cost, right? It's, the, it's there inside the phone system which matters, right? Interesting? <laughs> so, the slowly what is happening is, we do much more than looking at the numbers here, right? We do the browsing and all that stuff. So screen becoming bigger and bigger and the phone, my phone looks like a harmonium, you know, so big and it can talk like this way. Okay. It's sometimes very, very uncomfortable. You know what I think so? The phone, it's just not a talking device. We'll just do that. This is what I just mentioned. Uh, I don't know where it will go further and uh, life is becoming more and more complicated. Is this, is this real? Facebook user is coming now? Off the top? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Why? After they gone public? No. After their IPO, I think the price is coming, the Facebook usage is coming down? We'll discuss today. This is kind of, just want to skip further so that we can have lots of question answers to, uh, and, and, and discussions. Look at the way that entire consumption of telecom is changing. Okay? The size of the bubble also defines the total consumption, right? Interesting. 
what is continues to be dominating uh, dominating telecom usage, right? In our country, we have 95 C2, okay? 90%, uh, sorry, next slide, that's fine. 90% we actually call, 5% uh, SMS, 3% CRVD and all those nonsense stuff, right? And 2% is internet access, email, and so on. This is what I was mentioning to you. Today, uh, um, this is still can be called as a phone, right? That Galaxy Note or whatever I have, I get confused with uh, Ramesh Menon. Before joining there, he was in, he was in consumer business. Can you imagine? He's just not a telecom guy at all. We'll discuss this, how the HR and, and the people parameters are changing along with it. It's in large computers called the extra computer. It's a kind of a PC with a monitor, the keyboard. Did you see that? Yeah. Good. That used to be a dominating computing device earlier, personal computing device. And I come from that uh, that generation. Uh, I mean, that cannot travel anyway. So the desktop computers used to stay at home, right? And laptop used to travel. Interesting. Mm -hmm. and slowly, what happened is from uh, uh, even if you want to buy a pump for your, whatever, let's call your dad, you want to give that, gift him. So, do you buy a desktop or a laptop? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. You don't even talk about desktop, you remember? So now, laptop is too bulky to carry. Some unsmart guys like me, I still carry a laptop because I feel comfortable. But, laptop stays home nowadays and add for tablet travels. Do you think so? I mean, I'm sure this industry, uh, sorry, this institute must be having Wi-Fi. If you have decent Wi-Fi access and a tablet, you are through. And the day will come. Tablet is becoming bigger now. So tablet will stay at home. Your smart device like smartphones and all that will travel. So today I can manage one day travel with my Galaxy Note. I can see my basic emails and so on and get going. See the convergence which is happening today. How many of you, in fact, watching movie or listening to your music from a CD or DVD. Last time when you touch your DVD player home. Last 10 days how many people touched? We have a old guy here. He touched. <laughs> I'll kill you to raise your hands next time. So uh, last one month how many have touched? Possibly not. You did? <laughs> so, what, what I'm trying to say is, uh, carrying media on our telecom path is becoming standards, right? Um, M torrent or new torrent, whatever you call it, they made us learn. We will we'll not discuss the economic part of it. We're not saying that we download and don't pay or something. That culture will be very different, right? That's, that's the reality today, right? You, you use the same device to do the chat, to the video call, if at all any, and consume your media on the same device, right? Interesting. So that's becoming your, becoming the tool you always carry. Like your wallet or something, if you forget your wallet, you feel helpless when you go out. <coughs> Today, if I take away your mobile phone, you'll be completely disabled, right? So that's, that's such an interesting thing is happening. I'm not not really relating to that, whether the, the speed of SMS and all that, you know, is that really required to do it so much. That's the convergence that's happening today, right? Uh, and uh, uh, I was involved in a, in a particular project in Gorizon, in the US. What they do is they call it a 4-inch to 44-inch project. Very interesting project. Uh, home, just think about it, a real-life example, and it's a wow. Uh, uh, some of you know called FTTH technology? Really? So one day we should really do a technology uh, session for all of these guys. I, I can't believe that you, know, you are actually aware about FTTH. So today, today if you if you buy a new home there in California, you have to lay a fiber cable to home, whether you like it or not, right? So having a high speed 
internet access to home is not a big deal. 8 to 10 MB internet access to home is not a big deal, right? Now, your home, you are watching a particular movie. Uh, uh, you know, there are two kinds of media watching is there, called the pull media and push media. Do you know what's pull media push media? Yes. Pull media is typically go to that media and pull that and see and go back. Somebody tell me the time. Okay. So, uh, and the push media is like conventional TV channels, so if you don't see it, it will go away or something. So you're watching a movie, you see that movie, and let's say you saw the movie half, correct? You come back and sit in your car, correct? And you do the same login from your iPad, and that, that particular software will throw you, and this iPad is connected to the 3G or whatever, BWF, 4G. It will give you saying that you've been watching this movie and you stop there. Do you want it to start from there? He said yes. It will start from there. Interesting. Like one of these media servers, some of you must be having go, right? So that is 44 inch large screen. Even on your small mobile phone, in a Blackberry can actually watch that movie. What it will do is it will compromise the quality of the production, right? What is the quality? The frame per second? How cool is that? the speed of the transfer, and two, of course, the pixel settings. If you compare these two, you are through. So you can get that HD quality at home, and you can get a okay quality on your laptop or desktop, but you still watch the movie. Do you think so? And today, uh, slowly the world is changing. I repeat, slowly the world is changing to the push media to the pull media. Uh, when you come back home and, and uh, Come back home and see a live, uh, sorry, uh, highlights of the match which has happened in the morning. And assuming you don't know the result, so for you it is as good as live. Don't you think so? So slowly, that's a full media. Everything is becoming full media. Let's say live match is going on. It is your decision when you want to join in, right? You join in. Let's say 10 o'clock the match starts. You join in at 11, but it streams from 10 o'clock onwards. It's as good as a live to you. Interesting. But don't start betting on that. <laughs> There's a guy who lost bet twice, you know that? He was betting on the live as well as on the highlights. <laughs> I, I think I, I'm, I may be crossing the time limit, so I'll just try to skip it. I have a lot of interesting stuff to say. Uh, just have a look. Uh, E-learning can be very, very different. And I'm very happy to see why we go to institutes. Basically, knowledge is very critical, right? Earlier, there's a concept to us, knowledge is important, not education, right? So that's, then you start going to the definitive framework so that you can go and learn something and how to measure your depth of your knowledge, you go for the exams and so on. So slowly, exam became more important, less important than knowledge, right? <laughs> A, you must have seen, and, and I'm sure those like me who has never been the first uh, topper in the classes, we, we love to believe that toppers are actually not knowledgeable. They, they learned everything and some have finished it. That's a belief. So, anyway, uh, today's economy is the same thing happening. Bill Gates has written a book, uh, I think only Paranoid Survive. Very interesting phrase. He says, in, in 2005, and when he has written, he has written that, the illiterate will be those who cannot, listen to me, who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Interesting. Today, you go to Google, identify something, information, you don't even bother to save it, because you know it's there forever. Tomorrow I'll go to the same search, you don't even care from which server maybe 18,000 kilometers running that information right on your handset, right? Interesting? The same information. So today, we need not to really uh, uh, really uh, make too much of knowledge here. You just want, you just know, you need to know where it is available the knowledge. Don't you think so? That's the economy today we belong. You are not bothered to remember those telephone numbers anymore. You just know how to search your address book. This is the changing of this, so your brain are actually busy for something else. We'll discuss what is that. Interesting? So, uh, it's not important whether you remember this or not. It's just important, do you know how to execute it? Right? You're not, you're not 
you are not supposed to know this. How many of you actually you know x minus a into x minus b? Come on, don't say no. No? Anybody guess? Nobody is doing eye contact with you now. Yeah. You guys dance. Yeah, it's you. What is x minus n to x minus b? You want to try? Oh, she is writing it also. Okay. Tell me. Perfect, right? And plus AB, right? What is X minus A to X minus B to X minus C? Only she, nobody else. Like X X Q minus A X square and blah 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 and minus ABC, something like that. What do you get if you do it off to Z? X minus Z. Only she. You had mathematics? Yes. Oh, there is a microphone. Can you have uh, Amazon or something? <laughs> That is x to the power of 26 and so on. Are you sure? It will be 0. Thank you so much. In somewhere x minus x will come in, right? That will be 0. So 0 minus 1. You understand the difference between education and knowledge? <laughs> you actually look like the second guy. <laughs> Changes are happening. The way you, your parents or my parents, uh, you know, is remembering stuff that we are using because we are not utilizing that part of, 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 of we are not using that. So uh, I don't know. There are some research going on in UCLA that maybe our brain cells are getting realigned. The way we are yeah, today, we are attacking it. We don't try to remember the numbers. We don't try to remember many things. We just know how to search it and get going. So things may change. Uh, typically social media and all that thing changing, exposing us uh, unknowingly to many, uh, many, many personalized information which, which has been creating problems. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a separation happened in US, very interesting. So this, this guy and girl got married and after somebody, some, one of his friends posted uh, his college days photograph when he was taking uh, drugs, some are you on or something like that. So they got separated because now she learned that he used to take drugs when he was in college. So there are some information can be very, very, uh, very scary uh, in this kind of open, open information economy, right? And and this is the funniest one. The last one is mine completely. The way you guys, not me, surely do the SMS. One day your fingers will be like a pointed, like like pen, ball pen, so that will be easy to type. So I don't know, did you see what great speed my son, oh boy, what a speed he sends SMS. And he'll press that four or five times to get X and C's or something like that. I don't even know that how to get it. And while doing it, you will get uppercase and lowercase also, right? Move to HL today. We'll have a little serious discussion. Uh, I was mentioning this uh, to somebody. You have this galaxy notes and all that, right? You know what it made us? Made us corporate diary. So we are 24 by 7 wearable. <laughs> all, all our US colleagues, they send a message at night to our hour time and expects to revert on next couple of hours. Can you believe it? <laughs> and it creates some, something and uh, like it will take out all your priority ships into that. Don't you think so? Uh, for you, your priorities may be different, but, uh, but how are you shift? Uh, interestingly, uh, you will find that there is a huge amount of alignment is happening in, in, the, in the delivery mechanism of organizations. You have thought leaders and action leaders. We will try to touch upon this and discuss it just in the world. Uh, we will we'll move towards uh, HR related stuff, which is the discussion for today, right? 
uh, you will clearly find the same thing happening in, in developed countries also. You have a set of people only think, right? They think, they define, they, they discover and so on, right? They innovate. And you've got another set of people, they take that to the import and go and deploy. Interesting? So we call it the action makers. For a, for a successful economy, for a successful nation and state, both the things are equally required. Uh, sometimes our problem is in our country, we, you know, everybody is innovators and nobody is action leaders, nobody is leaders. That's the problem. So we first, we, 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 we ask too many whys all the time. So why this, why not that kind of stuff. Coming back. So if you see that, you will have the people who will have, who will get into the business idea visualizations and uh, defining the vision, mission, and mandate of the organization, and so on. And, and you'll have another set of guys who will be actually deploying it, right? They will take that and execute it uh, repeatedly, same quality, SLA and KPIs, you know, and every time, right? If these two things are properly merged together, correct, right, and properly glued, uh, electrical engineer guys, here. Yeah? You know what is a true transform? So if V into I input should be V into I in the output, right? And zero loss. So whatever you are thinking in, in that business idea visualization phase, same thing can be deployed here. The main problem that happens is we can't execute these things, right? There are some great ideas out there that cannot be executed. So when you, when you generate for tomorrow's corporate leaders, we need action leaders, or sometimes we call it the line function guys. We also need the thought leaders, right? You need both. And it is not that if you're not a thought leader, you're a bad guy, right? It is not that you, if, if you're a great action leader, you're not a great guy. You got it? So you need both. Interestingly, my dad used to work in Tata Steel and Disco those days. So they are, they have a unique way of defining the, look at that. Wisdom they had typically 1950s and 60s in Jamshedpur. So they have the size of a quarter, you know, where the organization, sorry, company given uh, residential setup. The quarter distribution is to happen, the size of the quarter. It depends which position this guy is in, what is his age, what is his family size, how many years he is working, and so on, his years of experience, and so on. So it got a very fuzzy logic. So you'll find a great, young, budding, uh, highly educated, uh, senior management strategist guy sitting next, staying next to a guy who's a supervisor but grown from the, from the bottom, right, to over a larger family and so on. You're getting a complete mix. So you need actually both of them. You need thought leaders, you need action leaders as well. But HR, you know more than me. Uh, divided into HRD and HRA, I think. Um, uh, I, I, I think um, a person like me, like always been worried. It's really genuinely HR development is happening in this country. We're always doing HRA, right? Uh, HR administration. Today's HR is is just not to manage their business, right? But HR for telecom, HR for healthcare. HR for XYZ. We are just not here to manage the business. We are the HR guys are there to drive the business. Interesting. They actually go and participate in the growth of the business. We'll discuss that, how that, that thing is coming up. Uh, 25, let's say, uh, till 85, 90 and all that. Even telecom used to be a technology company, right? So you'll find telecom means technology people, service providing and everything. And technology selling was more of a uh, service providing kind of stuff. So somebody will go and facilitate the telecom. So telecom inter environment was used to be a complete technology driven setup. Today's telecom is so different, right? Today's telecom, we actually don't hire, we hire people having experience in 
you know, how to generate superior user experience. Can you believe it? So that's the way our telecom guys are today. It's not necessarily that you have to be a telecom engineer to go and join in a telecom organization. Interesting. So uh, uh, thinking completely different paradigm and different, different concepts are there. Entire telecom industry is changing today. So uh, because of telecom and media and technology, everything is getting merged together. The, the way the HR are looking towards the people and their grooming and entire thing is very different. Telecom guys are getting completely uh, divided into two parts. One is a core competency area and is a non-core competency area. You'll be surprised to know that uh, 25 years back, what been perceived as a core competency in the telecom company, today they, un they, they, they accept that the non-core area. What is, a, what is a telecom core competency area 25 years back? We'll join together. Can you guess? What is a telecom business 25? 25 is a bad thing. You guys are not born. Okay, 15 years back. Voice communication. Network, correct? Hardware, cables, and so on. Handsets, correct? What is a what is the core competence area today? Let's say Vodafone. Sorry, one. Sorry. Value added services. To uh, to enable the value added services, do you really think that telecom technology is important, or that how? How smartly you define a new value-added services is a smarter thing, not smarter way to go. CRBT, that caller ring back tone, right, was just did not exist some 10 years back. Today, how many of you actually do not have a caller ring back tone on your phone? I mean, don't ask me that even, don't tell me that even without your choice, they enable that caller ring back tone. <laughs> and they, they, they sneak away 10 rupees from your pocket, right? I'm aware. But still, we all of us, we have it, right? And, and, and sometimes this color in that tone can be a disaster. Because it is, you like to hear that music. Not that I like to hear that music when I call, right? And, and, and those guys calling from you, they get completely confused. They said, what the hell is going on? This is just, <laughs> I remember, in our country that, uh, what do you call The voice response, correct? When you call somebody, no, no, not voice response, sorry. Uh, I think uh, answering machine kind of setup, right? Right, so if you don't pick up somebody's, your voice can say that you can't be the kind of message. And I enabled that, and my mom used to call me from Calcutta, and she used to get completely irritated. She said, what the hell is this? You are talking to me, saying that you cannot talk to me. <laughs> so, then I quickly realized this is the right thing for us, so I removed that. So, coming back, your, that caller ring back tone brings in a serious amount of profitability for the organization. Interesting. Today we are sitting there and thinking that how oh, we can get done. Some funny looking, uh, you know, guys uh, dressed like uh, uh, aliens and all that, that white guys called Zuzu. They came and told us, look, this is all that you can do. The concept of post prepaid was just not there. Today in this country, 90% telecom revenue comes from the prepaid environment. And don't even think prepaid means uh, is, is only those who cannot afford, right? We have experience that saying that people are using prepaid environment of 5 to 10,000 bucks every month. Arpu, the telecom has been like I don't know what the full form Arpu, you know? Oh, really? Oh, serious movement? You know what's the machine? Okay. Uh, coming back. So, the type of people are changed. And what is, then where the hell this tool take care of telecom network? Tool take care of the nitty gritty, technological nitty gritty of my network? Who do it? If this is not my core competence. Companies who are dealing in hardware. Kind of. I can I rephrase your answer? He's saying those who are good at it. Don't think so. Give it to them, right? Uh, 
engineering, how many of you have done carpentry? Now be careful, next question. How many actually you make furniture at home? Put a hand down, come on. And over. Because that's not my competence, right? I call carpenters. Who possibly never did carpentry for money? I have greater confidence on him making my furniture than me doing it, right? I also know how to do it. I can measure and do that. I give a lot of gyan to that guy, you know, you should do it this way. But reality, I can't do it. So that's, that's, I, I really agree with you. So what you do is, slowly, you go and call them, the typical Alcatraz and Renaissance and Huawei's and of the world, saying that boss can come and take care of my network. That's becoming less important, right? Maintaining the network. The same thing true for your call center getting outsourced in India or somewhere act globally. You you slowly reduce your focus, uh, which is not your core competence area. So that's that's uh, that's what is happening today. So you will always find that organizations are becoming slimmer and slimmer and uh, slimmer than you know, slimmer and slimmer, and 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 they are focusing their core competence areas and non-core is outsourced. Uh, anybody from the finance, the finance thing here? Yeah. Oh, very good, a lot many. I'll just quickly touch upon what is a, a financial advantage of outsourcing. You're all aware about it. When you buy for a network and deploy and all that, you spend a lot of money, which is called the capex. And capex has got a serious impact on the depreciation. That will go and eat away, that will go and sit the negative side on your balance sheet and the balance sheet looks weaker. Don't you know think so? So what you do is you smartly convert your, your capex to the OPEX. What is OPEX? Operational expenditure. So what you do is you convert the capex on a, on a smaller pieces over the period of the next 5 years, 10 years or so. And OPEX does not have a depreciation, right? So it will have a great advantage to uh, School days mathematics or, or 11, 12 mathematics. Can it make my OPEX is a function of the size of the business? So today, if I tell you, uh, okay, let's say Times of India. I said, look, this software is going to add this much of business value for you. A software or whatever. So they said, oh, there are 20 crore rupees you want me to spend and buy this? I will not buy it. If you go and tell me, this software is going to add value to your business over the period of 10 years. What do you do? Can you give me one paise per newspaper next 10 years? He said, that sounds good. I think I can pay that. <laughs> you don't think so? You are converting the investment as an expenditure.
So S B Nathan's uh, slide this is. <laughs> okay. And this piece is a luxury and consumerism. Uh, am I sounding all of this? Shut up. Okay. Somebody said yes, huh? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's let's have there's a financial struggle phase. Uh, very interesting slide. Uh, I don't have time today, maybe some other day. This is uh, just give me 10 seconds to spend some time. Uh, you remember that story of uh, the bowl having sweet dish, having spoons? So you, you are there, only two, three spoons you have taken. Maybe four spoons, correct? Okay. So now see, uh, in, in Bhagavad Gita, it is mentioned, this slide I made it for, uh, we made it for Mukesh Bhai, his favorite slide. So now I'll just quickly get into that, I don't have time because uh, I'm sorry, it takes a nice snatching time from others. So this is that in Gita it says that you should have, to be successful in life, you should have these qualities today. So uh, very interestingly, today it is still valid. You see that? Uh, you may have, uh, all of them are required to be successful or, 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 or sure. Right? And it's been defined uh, in like so many, so, so many years back. Uh, question and search for five minutes, I think uh, I, I can take it. Yeah, quickly, anything.